Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use MIDI quantize inside Drumbo, the modular groove box. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's click on the menu up here. Let's select new and let's select the first option as a template. So a tracks MIDI to CV. Next, what we are going to do, and we are going to create a number of steps like so. It doesn't really matter the note, but we create alternating steps. So notes for alternating steps. Okay, so we have uh, something like this. We are on track number one. We click on the plus sign and we bring in a generator. For simplicity, we are going to use NFM operator and this is what it sounds like. Now we make some adjustment to feedback, decay, etc. So let's have a go. Okay, perfect. Now, before the MIDI to CV, we just click and hold, move to the right, and to insert a new rack or module. And we are going to go to MIDI and we are going to scroll down until we find Quantize. And there it is. So we have two options, quantization in terms of subdivision and amount. It's fair to say, first of all, that if I set the amount to zero and then I change the quantize dial, you will have no effect. And that's because, of course, there is amount zero as quantization on incoming MIDI messages. Okay. Now, at the moment, the quantization is, is set to 16th note. So because I have created alternating steps here for the one bar that I have available, there is no difference because it will uh, uh, quantize uh, um, steps which are every eighth um, to the nearest 16th note. So you don't hear any difference. Similar, if I was to change the quantization to one eighth, you will not hear any difference because it will be perfectly quantized. However, if I decrease that again and I quantize by a quarter, so every bit, now you will hear every quarter that C2 note that has been quantized. Of course, I can change these again, half, so you hear two notes per bar. And then, of course, you can go to 1-1 one, one, and you will hear only one note per bar. And this can be really useful and you can have different type of application. I'll show you some, and but of course, there are many others. So let's click on the plus here and let's go to mixer and let's bring in a mixer like so. And... Um, Let's connect the output to the FM operator to the mixer and we hear still the same. Let's set these to one eight so we have a perfect quantization. Okay, no changes there. Now let's add here again another quantization module. So we just scroll down, we'll find quantize that. And we choose these to be every quarter. Um, like so. Then we are going to in, ensure that the MIDI here is taken uh, from directly from the track. Okay. Next, we are going to add after the MIDI quantize two, uh, we are going to add another MIDI to CV, like so, to generate CV messages. And these will take the MIDI for this quantize module, which is okay. And then next, we are going to add another FM operator like this one. We ensure that it takes the uh, output directly from the track. And you can see it's taking CV message from this MIDI to CV module, which is taking MIDI from this MIDI quantized two, which is taking the MIDI event directly from the track. Now on this FM operator, um, we are going to um, change it a little bit. So, and let's listen. So now you can hear every eighth or alternating step, you hear FM operator one, and uh, every quarter 
you hear FM operator 2, which are mixed together in the mixer here. And I just added it at the, as you seen a moment ago, the output of this FM operator 2 to the mixer. So this is one way that, um, for example, you could use it, but there are a lot of other different ways. So for example, let's go to new, create uh, a different project uh, again, and let's uh, change here the view to keyboard and let's create a chord, something like this. And then let's insert it here, like a chord there. And then um, let's keep only uh, this note here. And then let's add different step like so. So properly, practically on the first steps, we have a chord. And then on every alternating steps, we have the note um, C1. Again, so here we can change the number of voices to three. Then what uh, um, we can do is add an FM operator again for simplicity. Um, right, so we are going to put a quantize module here. You know, you can also search for quantize like so. Um, and we are going to set these only to one one, so it will pick up only the first time the chord. So let's listen. And then using the same technique, for example, I could add a bass line. So let's add a mixer there, take the output here. Then let's add a quantize module. There it is. We quantize every eighth like so. Then let's add a MIDI to a CV like so. And let's ensure it takes for this one and then Let's say the MIDI takes from directly from the track, like so, and then let's add again for simplicity another FM operator, like so. And we ensure that is configured properly. Yes, we add it to the mixer again. Let's have a play. So and you can find a lot of other use cases. For example, if you are arpeggiating notes, you can add an arpeggiator, then you can ensure, for example, that the arpeggio happens only at specific notes. Okay, I hope you found the tutorial useful. It was requested by a subscriber, and as always, see you next time. Bye.